What's going on everybody? 915 Mang here. This is the AI Prime. I previously used it on a 24 gallon tank. Got a new project and got a new light. What's in the box is a Coral Box Moon LED Plus. Uh, Coral Box uh, makes all kinds of stuff, skimmers, you know, lights. And uh, this light I got from Reef Breeders. Um, I got this light when I got my uh, 24 inch. Also got the uh, Coral Box Moon LED. Not a whole lot of videos on it, so why not go ahead and do one? Now, the previous light that I had was the AI Prime. It was the non-HD. As soon as I got it, the HD light came out. And uh, I gotta say, for the non-HD light, it did good. Uh, some of the setbacks that I didn't like was, number one, I had to buy a separate mounting kit. Um, it did have several options to hang it, but the thing is, with the... Uh, these kind of companies that pretty much they really need to do is include everything. Um, I got this light. It came with, uh, as I'm going to show you, the different LEDs, the different spectrums, different ways to hang your LED, um, mounting. Uh, it came with everything that you need. Uh, even it's also a uh, Wi-Fi. You can control it with your uh, iPhone or Android device. Um, I did try to do it on a tablet. I really didn't, uh, wasn't able to do that. But I could, you can do it with a uh, cell phone. In order to go to the uh, Wi-Fi, all you do is you go and you look for the network name. Now my network name is Aqua LED, and then it's like DD4 or something like that. Then you punch in the passcode, and then the passcode it comes in the instructions, and you just connect it like that. It has some LPS setting has an SPS setting and then you can uh, actually um, customize it. Now how it does underneath the uh, corals and the LEDs, uh, we'll see. Um, I pretty much want to just do a um, Zoa Garden, uh, Zoa Frags. I'm running out of room inside of my uh, 180 um, because I have all these frag racks all over the place and uh, with the addition of a uh, 20 gallon I can uh, go ahead and some of those frags in there well at least that's what I'm telling my wife so I can justify having another tank what I do like about this light and what's a big seller for me is the mounting options um, the mounting options it came with the hanging kit and of course I can go ahead and mount it to the tank itself kind of like a castle light something like that as you will notice though that it comes with a rubber nut on the back right here and I had to take that off because it wouldn't fit on my tank. Um, I have a cheap one of those little $20 uh, dollar per gallon tanks but if you had a rimless then you probably go ahead and keep that other nut on there but since I have this little uh, plastic border going around I had to take it off so I mean it came with a different mounting options and uh, that's the way that I, I have do to have high mine. hopes for this light I do like the many options that it comes with um, like I said I'm going to go ahead and start off with some tester corals. I'm going to throw some GSP in the tank, see how that does. I'm going to throw in some regular green zoas, see how they do. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw in some uh, nicer zoas, different frags that I have, and just grow them out. Like I said, you know, some people like to collect cats and dogs and newspapers and be the crazy cat lady, but I, I like to collect corals. I just want to grow them out and uh, let them grow and trade for frags and that's about it i'm not a professional by any means so you know i don't need those high-end lights but this one should do fine now speaking of frags and frag tanks i was wondering how many of you guys actually have frag tanks you know i think it's a necessary piece of equipment once you get into it you know i like to trade really don't uh, try to make money or anything like that but uh, any money that I do get or whatever from trading would go to uh, the hobby. What I mean by that is um, eventually get some more corals, different kind of corals, a variety of corals, especially the ones that I can't find here locally. Um, what I'm mainly talking about is zoas, those high-end zoas, not just the regular zoas, but the high-end zoas. And also some of those uh, nicer acroporas besides, um, you know, the usual typical bird's nest and things like that. That's what I'm into, which is why I want to get a frag tank and just grow corals out.
but uh, I think this light is going to do good. Um, I can't tell you for sure yet. Uh, I have had it for a few weeks now before actually posting this video. And what I can tell you is when I did throw in my Zoas and I threw in some GSP, uh, it did open up right away. Um, but like I said, I think this light has a lot of potential. And uh, we'll just see and, and mess around with my tank. I know that the AI Prime did good. But uh, I think this is a, a better light, more bang for your buck, so to speak. The spread of this light is pretty big. Um, it actually covers a 20 long um, tank. And the, as you can see, that's more than the 20 inches. Um, I don't have the exact measurements, but it does cover more than 20 inches. You know, the uh, optics of the light is kind of interesting. If you look at the new uh, Radeons, by no means is this really a comparison to a Radeon. But... Uh, the uh, layout of the optics are round, you know, kind of like the new uh, Radeons. Just something that I've observed. Um, but uh, for sure, this light doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Um, and like I said, this covered my whole 20-gallon tank, 20-gallon long. And uh, so if you have a cube or anything like that, I'm sure it will do good. Also, speaking of cubes, some guy was selling a uh, Salona all-in-one, and I was looking at it. You know, I try to get it, but, um, you know, he hasn't really got back with me. So I might keep this as a temporary tank, 20 gallon, or uh, I might jump into a, some kind of cube or all-in-one tank uh, for filtration on my frag tank. I'm just using an AquaClear uh, hang-on-back um, filter, and that's about it. I may throw in a Powerhead, an MJ Powerhead or something like that. But other than that, that's about it. Um, so stay tuned for this uh, more videos like this to come. You guys, take care, like and subscribe, and have a good one.